Hey friends, I'm Shauna and this is Crafting With My Friends where we share our love of crafting and creating with each other and the world. Welcome to my second episode of Talk About It Tuesdays. So, let's talk about it. Inspiration. It comes from everywhere. Your friends and family, the places you've been, even things you've seen on TV every day, and in your neighborhood, and in nature, period. <laughs> Where I live, I get lots of inspiration for all types of projects. We have graffiti art and murals everywhere, and all of it is so different, but inspirational in its own ways. Even the buildings, new and old, spark some ideas. I work with a lot of yarn. <laughs> so I try to crochet things that may match a shoe that I have or that I can add to an upcycle garment or just to mimic something that's made with regular fabric. Right now, I'm sparking ideas from the web. So I'm thinking jumpsuits, dresses, two-piece sets, and a lot of skirts. <laughs> A lot of people are going on vacation to warm climates, so they're on beaches and pools, and it inspired me to try my hand at swimwear and accessories. Never done it before. It's a little intimidating, but I won't let it get me. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna do it, y'all. I also have a few other things in mind that I wanna try my hand at that I've never done before, out of pure fear. And that's where the people in my life come in, and they serve as an inspiration to me. I'm surrounded by so many men and women who are so dope at what they do. From balloon design, t-shirt design, painting, food and tree crafting, bedazzling shoes and accessories. It's just amazing the people who I love the most that inspire me so much. Not to mention the other countless friends from college who design fashion, jewelry, art, accessories. When I say I'm surrounded by talent, it's overwhelming in a good way. On top of that, all of the people that I follow on YouTube and social media who inspire me to do better and own my talent, like Angelina from Blueprint DIY, Crystal from Back of Day Crochet, Sheila from Sheila Crochets, Lamone from Lamone Crochets, Nadia from Yarn Utopia, and Daniela Tabois. Ladria LeBay, and Jess Dang. The list is so long, we will be here all day. Gotta wrap it up. My favorite time to craft is when it's super early in the morning and everybody's asleep, or when the house is empty, or when I just wanna catch up on some TV shows. I have a designated space in my apartment, which is where we're recording. It's super small, but I can work. I have my table, my sewing machine, all of my yarn, all of my accessories, every tool that I need, my books, my planner, my laptop, everything that I need in order to create is right here in arm's reach. And if you know me, my arms ain't that long, so you can just about tell how big the space is. But I make it work. So before the pandemic, I would take my yarn everywhere I went, on a bus, in an Uber, um, to a park, or wherever. I would crochet at work, <laughs> in the break room, and I would just start hooking, and it turned into anything. And most times, I can just sit and crochet and not even pay attention to what I'm making until I'm done and see that I've made something a hat, a scarf, a sweater. I made my nephew a sweater back and forth on the bus for about maybe two braces retightenings. And by the time I came back for, I don't know, after the second one, I wanna say, I got there and the sweater was done. And it's a long bus ride from where I live to my orthodontist maybe like 45 minutes sometime to an hour depending on the traffic or whatever and um i made it for him 
and the receptionist at the uh, at the orthodontist orthodontist at the orthodontist was like that is amazing she said i've never seen somebody as young as you work with yarn and crocheting and stuff like that everybody thinks that yarn anything yarn related is for old ladies cut it out y'all like for real do you know how many talented yarn artists there are out here who knit and crochet under the age of 20 i learned at 11 and other people are saying that they learned at the age of five seven does that sound old to you and also yarn arts knitting crocheting is not just for young girls and women men and young boys are doing it too have you ever heard of jonah larson from jonah's hands about 12 or 13. super talented young man he's amazing so with all that knitting and crocheting is an old lady sport cut it out look around you look to the people closest to you look to the places nearest to you maybe even places that you've been where you've been inspired by the beauty the people maybe even the food but inspiration is everywhere inspiration lives here so take a moment and think about what inspires you the most and use that in your very next project and watch the amazing things that you can create i want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of talk about it tuesdays i really hope you enjoyed if so give me a thumbs up comment below to tell me what inspires you if we're friends and you want to help support this channel share this channel with your other friends and if you're new to my channel and you want to be friends with me hit the subscribe button stay tuned because there's more in store until next time friends